All right, now we're gonna get into the leg segment. Again, we're gonna go from very, very basic to advanced to limitless, and you'll see what that is in a minute. But why I brought this chair out here. How, how many of us have, sit in a chair at work? We have office jobs. Remember the first day you got your job, you were just excited to get the job, and you remember how you sat? All alert and happy, you were just typing away at the keyboard with perfect posture, you wanted to impress the boss. 10, 15 years go by, three or four different bosses go by, and you run into a raw, the wrong boss. Boy, this boss is stressing you out and you hate your job. So you go from sitting straight up and happy, ready to go, and then for another three to five years, you're like this, typing away, bad posture. And let alone, you make the mistake of getting up like this. Oh God, I hate this job. Ooh Lord, I hate this job. Before you know it, how many people see you see walking around like this? It's not good. So we are gonna work on legs, but we're gonna work on functional legs to help you get up and down from the chair and then some and beyond. We're gonna make this real easy. But the important part is not in the get up part. The important part is in the posture before you get up. Head up, back straight, shoulders back, sing it up straight, engaging your core. When you sit up straight, you'll feel these muscles contract. Hey guys, this is your core. You're gonna sit up straight. When you get up, now we're not gonna get up like the old angry, bitter employee, we're gonna get straight up. We're gonna start nice and easy, hands at the hips, and we're just gonna stand up. Nice and straight. You everybody see that? Nice and straight. Then we're gonna slowly come back down, okay? Now watch, every time I get up, I'm thinking posture at all times. Now this won't feel natural at first because you hadn't done it stood up like this in years. But let's do 10. One. Same concept applies. When you feel pressure, exhale. I want to make sure you're breathing by counting and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now the next five, no hands on the knees at all. No support at all. Let's say we've done it 500 times. We're starting to get the hang of this piece. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight. Up. Nine. One more. Up. Ten. Now what I don't want you to do is flop down to your seat. When you get up, you get up with control. You get down with control. Now I want you to pay attention to my feet also. They're straight ahead, okay? We don't want them pointing out because that's relative flexibility and that means taking the easy way out. We want to point them forward. This is the way it was meant to be. This is the functional way. Feet forward, everything aligned. You're going that direction, point your feet in that direction. Now some of you, when you're doing this in the beginning, you'll have the tendency to do this. That's relative flexibility. It might feel natural, but that's the wrong way. Point those toes and practice. That's why we're gonna use repetition to get us back in shape. Practice those fine points. Everything's nice and aligned. Stand up. Do five more. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good. Now, for those of you who are really having problems getting out from a chair, and you still want to practice that postural alignment, hey, if you have handles on the chair, you may use them. But don't do this uh, to get up. Use those legs. Only use your hands as a stable support. Feet forward, up we go. Simple as that. All right, so you're feeling confident? You're ready to move on? Let's move this chair out the way. You know, I hope you've enjoyed this brief, let's call it a web infomercial, because you haven't seen everything. If you want to find out more about how I train my programs, uh, witness uh, testimonials, I got it right here. Go to the web, www.cjff.org. So there's a thousand and one ways to get to CJ. All you have to do is take the step. You know what? Even if it's not with me, get up and take that step. But hopefully it is with me. I would love to take credit for motivating you in the functional fitness. You don't have to be a fighter to feel like one, so let's train.